Hey YouTube, it's Kristen. I was just coming to you guys to show you a video on some of the products that I use while I'm transitioning. Um, so let's get started. Um, my favorite product would be this one. And I've seen a ton of videos on YouTube about this product. It makes your hair so soft and a bonus to that is it smells like coconut and I love coconut it smells really really good um, so if you're one of those people that have coarse coarse hair I would recommend that you get this product um, while you're transitioning it's gonna make your life so much easier and I wish I would have had this like right when I was transitioning I would have used this every time I washed my hair um, also, the shampoo and conditioner that I'm using would be the Pentine Pro-V, Relaxed and Natural. And I am really liking this as well. The shampoo, it's good. It gives you a good lather, but the conditioner really, really, really makes your hair more manageable. It's really, really good at... um getting all the kinks out of your hair so you can comb through it and um, get all those kinks out. It's really good for that. Um, now, I used to use this when I could do a roller set on my hair or if I'm doing bantu knots, which I haven't mastered the bantu knot thing yet, but um, I would use this if I was going to bantu knot. And this is the Relax and Natural um, wrap and set lotion um it's really good at holding any um styles that you use rollers with or if you just want to set a style like a twist out or something like that it'll be great for that uh also this has been the craze on youtube as well the um herbal essences hello hydration and this stuff makes your hair so moisturized like i love it it makes your hair so moisturized and i can leave it on there for as long as i like and then just rinse it out it also smells really good too it smells like coconut too as you can see i'm a coconut addict i love coconuts it smells really good <laughs> it smells really good and um um, I used to do a hairstyle where I would use the clip-in hair extensions before I did my lace fronts. That's what I would use. So, in order to blend my natural hair with the extensions, I would flat iron it with this. And it came out pretty good. I just don't want to use any more heat on my hair until I get to a certain length. So, but this is what I would use if I was going to flat iron my hair. Um, a no-no to use would be this one. I'm not going to say the name, but it is, I don't know if you can see that, it's that, and it's a, it's supposed to be a thermal straightening agent. Hmm, and if you can read that. It's a non-chemical silkening soft straightener, but with that said, it is a um, cream-based, oil-based flat ironing agent, which means it will burn your hair. And so, you guys, I have the ultimate no-no heat damage on my new natural um, hair growth. My new growth, sorry. I have heat damage on my new growth. So pretty much the front of this is going to be wavy. You'll see it. It'll be wavy, whereas the rest of it is curly. And the waves are due to overexposure to heat and then using that thermo thermal straightener. It, it burnt my hair. So I'm not going to really worry about it. I'm not going to cut it off or anything. I'm just going to let it grow out. And then when I get to a certain length and I feel comfortable, I'll cut the heat damage part off. So, no big deal. Um, let's see. Also, this is the Shea Butter um, 
massage oil and it's no drip. It has a no drip tip. So you can just put that on your scalp and massage it in. And it works really well if you're um if you're getting braids or something while you're transitioning. Um you can just use this and go throughout your scalp with it. So you don't have to really mess up your braids or anything like that. But do not do not squeeze too much because when I say this will come out of here, it will come out here very easily. And as you can see, well you can't really see that, but it's like it's very oily, very, very oily. And you don't want to use too much of it because it will seep through a wrap, a scarf, whatever you have, onto your pillow. Trust me, I know. From experience, I use too much. And even when I washed it out of my hair, it still was still not out. So it's a very greasy, greasy product. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um... But this lace front, I'm wearing a lace front today, and she's called Divine by Model Model. And here's her packaging right here. I don't know if you can see that. Divine, and there's the picture. And I kind of have a hat on with her. And that's one side. This is the other side, and then let me see if I can show you guys the back. She's just really, really curly. And I like her. She's really cute. She has some highlights. I don't know if you can see that. She has some highlights in her. Really cute. Really cute. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions on products that I should be using or um, any new ideas that I can use with the products that I'm already using, then that would be great. I would appreciate the feedback and um, my next video will be on my natural new growth. So I get to get a chance to um, show you guys what I'm dealing with under here and it is not pretty. So. Please check out my next video. Thank you guys.